I think in our times now, it is really important also, instead of living in these bubbles, uh, I, I think we need to open up again and feel the others. I am interested in uh, stories that are not very uh, on the surface. Uh, I, I think it is also important to bring these stories to different parts of the world. I usually come up with an idea and then the second step would be research and research and research. And the final uh, stage would be just uh, go and uh, take pictures. Uh, sometimes also it's the combination of the continuation of the research where meeting people, listening to their stories, and at the same time also uh, take pictures and go ahead with the project. I was born and raised in Damascus and I have Armenian origins also. I am third generation. My grandparents are Armenian genocide survivors and my parents were born in Aleppo and they moved to Damascus and that's where we were raised. And of course, after coming uh, to the West here and, and see the, the, the difference how things go and how people live here and comparing with uh, where I grew up, of course now the situation is even worse than how it was before and that still has an uh, effect on me because I'm here but my head is there. My father uh, is a photographer and that's how I came into photography. As a young boy, I worked with him in the lab during summer holidays. At later stage, I decided to become a photographer independent and that's when my journey started. Sweet and Sour, it, it's a video project commissioned by Bonafante Museum. It's basically going back to my grandfather's village. I went there because my grandfather was married to another woman, not my uh, actual grandmother, and they had a son together, but they were all killed during the genocide, and my grandfather was never able to return. So I went there and filmed the landscapes and uh, the village also because it still exists until today and went to Damascus after 11 years and showed these footages to my father who has never been there either and filmed my father's face while he was looking at these footages. There is a third screen in the project also where I was uh, sitting on top of a mountain Maruta uh, in the same region where I went to see my grandfather. I want to show the endurance and the pain that people go through in my work, but at the same time I don't want to reveal so much in a way that it's really very blunt and right uh, at your face. That's what I always try to deliver to the audience and to make them feel. So last scene, it's about people who disappeared uh, during dictatorship, during war, and uh, their families still uh, don't know whether uh, their loved ones are dead or alive. And my idea was in this project to look for these families who are still living in the same house where the disappeared person was living and ask them where they remember seeing the person for the last time. And I took a picture of that place. I did this project in Argentina, Brazil, Bosnia, Kosovo and Lebanon. Although I traveled for very short periods, but the amount of information and emotions I really invest on these trips, meeting these people, listening to their stories, it's, it's quite enormous. 
I ask myself always, until when I can do these kind of things? There, there are times that I really wish I can photograph flowers. I, I think for me that's the purpose of my artistic career and also in life, I think, to keep doing what I am doing now.